Okay, so last week, uh, you got a lead on a bird cage, and that led you uh, into Statue Garden, and kind of uh, took a look through all of the frozen stone people. Uh, found a couple of hidden compartments, including seems to be a small booklet that has names written down for and general descriptions so you kind of know uh, what each statue is. And also found what appears to be the Medusa herself and had somewhat awkward shouting conversation with her. And we kind of left at the middle of that conversation, I think. I think so. So, uh, what was she saying? She was just kind of talking about how all of the statues are evil people who should never see the light of day again. Also, that the lady we let go was probably getting an army. Yes, the original woman inside the painting. Uh, probably doing her own thing outside, and she has her own reasons for being in the maze in the first place, so she will probably return at some point. If she hasn't already. You said she was looking at us in a mirror, right? She does have a small hand mirror that she's using. Uh, she's not facing you directly. She's kind of offset 90 degrees and looking at you through that. Nowhere kind of leans in and he's like, do you know how to get out of this place at all? Uh, yeah, there are several ways out. The painting being the most direct, but uh, seems that's not really an option anymore. Uh, if I have heard the rumors right about where you're from. The island of the Bondi Reparate uh, does exist on your planet somewhere. And there's also uh, the portal to the Black Desert. Uh, Caleb, what was the name of the city we were in when we began? Uh, I believe, I don't think I gave you a name, but I'm going to call it Antimore. Uh, so is the desert like super far from the city we came in? Uh, 
onto more? Well, it should be... I'm not familiar with that city name, but... Uh, most of your people all live on one continent, yes? All right. So, if I'm 100% honest, I was thinking at the beginning, with all the weird crap in the dungeon, that you were evil, but I'm not so sure anymore. Neither am I. So, I no longer know what I wanted to do now. What are the, you said there were like other servants here, right? What are they doing? Uh, there are a small handful of uh, like blind and blindfolded young women kind of just sitting off in the corner waiting expectantly. I can't find my notes. Give me one sec. All right, here they are. Uh, well, um, so here's the thing. I feel like I should apologize because I did something that I was told you were not going to like. Uh, there was like a snake kind of guy. And when we came in, we kind of panicked and attacked it and we killed it. And I've been told that was your child so sorry about that i suspected that it was the newcomers to the maze did not expect you to come to me and tell me directly Well, I didn't think we were going to make it so far, uh, but it was a wrong thing to do. And we didn't know, but, um, well, uh, again, it didn't really do much to us and we attacked it. So that was on, well, to be fair, it was on me and the original group. So these two really don't have anything to do with that.
People say that you have established a relationship with Cronia. Is that true? I'm not sure you can call that a relationship. It's she asked for a couple of favors and we did it. I don't even know if she likes us like a lot, a lot. But we did talk and her pet beat me several times. Feels kind of nice when it does. Sorry. If you can find out why she stopped returning my letters. I won't kill you. Um, okay, uh, she's not writing to you anymore? That's what I said. Well, first of all, how did she write to you? Because she cannot really touch a lot without turning to ashes. She can carve in stone. Oh. Okay. So... Tell you what, let me discuss this with my friends and um, we'll get an answer in a bit. So what are we planning on? I don't know anymore. At the beginning, I was trying to kill everything with a heartbeat in this place, but uh, she's not helping a lot with the evil image, even though she just threatened me. I I don't know anymore. I think maybe we can find out why uh, Cronia is not writing to her and then we can get the hell out of here. Possibly without her trying to come after us and killing us. If we know how to leave the maze, then why are we staying in it? Well, again, I wanted to kill everybody in here because I thought she was guilty of us being put in here. But she's really done nothing, I think. So I was trying to find that out. And I think Siga wanted to kill everything evil in the place so you guys are really fixated on killing yeah you could say that you're probably right uh well you're the new in the group so what do you think we should do Is there anything we could even gain from the maze at this point? Well, at this point, I don't think so. We've been pretty much everywhere, I think. So, I don't think there's a lot more to do.
For all we know, the exits could close at any minute. This maze is tricky like that. Well, last time we went to the island, it didn't close. So I don't know if she has full control over that. Um, I can ask, like, to make sure. Yeah, we probably should. Very well. Um, excuse me, uh, ma'am. What? Um, we were a little bit curious. Uh, do you know if the portals to the Black Desert and the island, uh, do they close every so often? Do they go away? Uh, do you have any control over that? And why would I answer that question? Uh, because maybe we find out why Cronia is not giving you the letters and you lock us in. I keep my promises. If you can get that for me. I will not stop you from leaving. All right, uh, just give me a second. Uh, okay, so uh, she's saying that she doesn't control this. So I think, again, maybe we should talk to Crony and then get the hell out of here. I don't think that's gonna be like too much of an issue. Definitely, we should just hurry. This gets weirder and weirder the longer you stay in it. One sec, guys. I gotta accept. I gotta accept a call for a minute. I'll be out for. Okay. Well, ma'am. Um, we're gonna go talk to Cronia. See what what she has to say, and then possibly come back. I don't know how long that's gonna take. One more thing. Uh, yes. Don't let her know I asked. Try to find out yourself. Oh. All right, that's going to be kind of hard. But, okay. Uh. Okay. Question, do you know who else maybe she talks to so that I can make it sound like it's them asking? Well, she'll probably talk to anyone who shows up, so you just All right. have to talk to whoever's most interested in her, who'd be more likely to have discussed something like that. Or maybe Very she's well. kept it to herself. All right. Um... Okay, so we're going to go, uh, it's kind of confusing in this place, so maybe it's going to take us a while. You're not coming, right? I have everything I want here. All right, okay, okay, just checking. Um, guess we'll be seeing you in a while. <laughs> Bye, and I'm gonna go back a little bit, checking her every time I take a step to make sure she's not following. 
she goes back to kind of toying with and flipping around her dagger in her hand. All right, that was supremely weird. Uh, let me see the map once again. Which room was this one? The 303? Uh, yeah, 304. Oh, okay. There is... Let me check here. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I think we don't have a lot of choice on how we get out of this place. Uh... I think to go back to Kronia, we gotta take kind of the same path we did before and the fastest way is through the sphinx room mm. let me check my spells Uh, I still got a couple. Uh, I think we can go back to Cronia through the through the sphinx through the sphinx room and the bird cages and make like a beeline over there. How long does pass without trace last? Up to an hour. Would I know if that's enough from here to Cronia's room? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay, then I'm gonna cast it. Uh... Uh, I can't cast... Can I cast it using a higher level? Yes, it just won't do anything extra. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do that because I only have one second level left. So I'm gonna cast it at third. We can cast anything else at higher level too. So you can use your second level here, and if you have a second level slot that needs to be used for something else, you can do that too. Either way you want. Oh. Okay, okay, then I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna last the, use the last second level spell or pass without trace and um, keep close to the others while we walk to Cronia. Okay, are you taking the same path back through the statues or are you going a new way through the statues? Uh, with the confusing map, I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I kind of want to go the fastest way possible to get out of the statue place, but I think we still have to go through a lot of rooms. Probably. Yeah, I think anyway is gonna be the same, the same thing. Uh, just for the sake of, uh, going fast, uh, if everyone can roll a stealth check. Pass is, oh no, it's not advantage, it's plus 10, okay. Well, that's a 21 for me. I think we gotta wait for for the others. Uh, 
Ooh, even with disadvantage. <laughs> Okay, if we gotta wait for him to get off the phone, I will be right back and put the word away. Okay. All right, I'm back. I'll just pop on a sheet and roll it from here. So you guys sneak through, um, and I will just say that you guys can avoid pretty much everything and make your way to Cronia. Okay, uh, I got a red. Oh no, it went away. Okay, got it. Uh, let me see my notes. Maybe I can pull up a name over here. No, I really don't have a lot of names over here. 
Uh, I'm gonna talk to Crony and tell him, hey, uh, how's it going with the with the dress? Uh, she happens to be like petting her little uh monster when you walk in. She stands up. Uh, still, it hasn't been very long since you last saw her, so it's still mostly just drapes of string. Uh, so, um, I was curious, uh, have you talked to your sister recently? Besides the other time we saw her? Uh, no, I haven't heard much from her lately. But you, you said she's well. I mean, I think she misses you. Do you have like a way to contact her? I don't know, magic, maybe writing something? I can occasionally scratch some messages into stone and it uh, lasts long enough to get to its destination. Great. Have you done those recently? Mm, I kind of stopped. Really? So you were doing them before. Why did you stop? Don't you feel like lonely here? Well, I, ha I have this little guy. And she, she gives him extra scratches. And it seems like uh, he nips on her wrist. Uh, and she says... But... Uh, Someone I was talking to just stopped talking to me. Hmm. Do you know why? That seems odd. There's not a lot of people here. And if you were talking to someone, I don't know. Maybe they got angry? I, I don't know. Maybe. I just... Just too, too embarrassed to ask. Well... What if you're right? And I take it, maybe I can ask why. I mean, we're going around here for a while. I, I, I couldn't ask you to do that. You've already done so much for me. Mm, I mean, it's not like we have a lot of things to do here. And Yeah, event, we do plan on event. leaving soon. Well, that too. But I think Which it may stopping? be on the way out. It, it could be a parting gift. What's stopping you from leaving? If I could, I would get out of this place. Well, you know, the usual thing. Endless threats of death and possible destruction. Uh, we gotta fix a couple things before we go. We don't want to be chased out. Um, who did you write to? I mean, I can, I can take the time. It's not a bother, really, because you've been one of the very few people that have been trying to kill us as soon as we came into the room. Well, if you 
come closer, you'd probably die anyway, whether I wanted you to or not. I, I, I just don't want to burden you with, with all this. You know, you've you've done so much. Your time three, uh, your time thing, is that like magic or is it like a curse? It's who I am. It's who I've always been. I've never known anything else. Though it did get stronger as I aged. Hmm. What? Mm, what will I have to? Can I do a check to see if this spell magic can help? at least lessen that a little bit? Um, probably not. That only works for like spells that... Well, that, that works for spells that have been cast on a person. It doesn't like deactivate abilities of magical beings or okay. magical, magical objects. It doesn't really... I don't think it affects them. Got it. Yeah, because I still have to roll and I Yeah, don't know. and if it's a high anyway. level spell you'd have to roll and have a chance of failing. Hmm. 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 I don't, uh... You know, I, I just don't want to bother you guys, and I don't want to bother her. Her? So it's, like, one of your sisters? No, they... They're okay. Listen, I mean, if we're gone, it's probably going to be a while until you talk to someone. I I will hate to leave you here not having anyone to talk to. So I can do that, at least. Hey, you've been very nice as well, so it's not really like a problem. I, uh, I... Been feeling lonely on this maze since most of my family is in here. So I don't, it's kind of weird feeling like that. So maybe I can give you a hand. I mean, it's the least we can do. Okay. Do. You... Do you have a dagger? I... A regular one, or I have a magical one. Well, that might, might last longer, but it will probably still be destroyed. Oh. Okay, okay. Um. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's the only thing I have. I'm gonna give her the magical dagger that we got at the beginning. Okay. Uh, you set it on a table and step back. And she slowly grabs it and uh, goes back deeper into the room. And uh, she kind of rips off one of the tiles out of the corner of the room. 
and sets it on one of her stone tables and kind of wraps some of the, the golden thread around the the blade of the dagger so she can hold it without cutting herself and then she starts scratching on the stone um During that time, her monster friend comes around to you guys. I'm going to be playing with that one. I'm still addicted to that thing, right? Uh, probably. <laughs> Got it. Uh, she okay. picks up the, uh, the tablet and sets the dagger on top of it and carries it to a closer table and then sets it down and walks away from it. Does it look like the dagger resisted a lot or... Uh, like it's not going to be very useful anymore? It is rusty and pitted like with like knocks all over it and uh like the the nice leather that was all around the handle is like gross and just like strings basically so did it like age the dagger yes i think i know why she stopped writing Very well. Um, so, which way do you? Where do we go to deliver this this writing? Oh, you were going to deliver it. Yeah, why not? If it's on the way out, don't worry about me reading it. I don't really know how. Well, that's not true for all of you. Yeah, but I can keep it on me, and they won't see it. Normally, my uh, my pet goes and delivers it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, very well, then... I think I won't bother you anymore. I'll... I would like to say we'll be seeing you, but if we go out, I don't think that's going to happen anymore. Okay, well, thank you for, for these as she's like lifting up the golden threads and uh, thanks for trying. Yeah, it's not a problem. Um, tell you what, if I ever learn something that maybe can help you with the time thing, I'll I'll take a visit to the maze once again. I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem by then. Well, uh, probably for your sake, though, it's best that... Uh... I hope to not have to see you for a while. Because that means you're out of here. Oh. 
I hope at least you can cover yourself in a while. So, see ya. Bye. And then when we leave, I'm gonna cast uh, pass without a trace after we leave the room. The uh, beast soup thing uh, starts walking in your direction with the uh, tablet in its mouth. Is it going ahead or just at our pace? Mm, it's kind of ignoring you, so yeah, it probably starts going ahead of you. Okay. I'm gonna let it go ahead and try to track it, see if it's going to the Medusa. Uh, make a, I guess, survival check to try to follow it without being seen, I guess, kind of. It's also <laughs> part shells, but... That was a 19. Alright, you kind of try to stay a couple rooms behind, but keep it in the corner of your eye and kind of slowly sneak up fast to watch it as it moves around corners to try to keep an eye on it. Uh, it takes you close to the general direction you were starting to head. Uh, make a perception check, Bigor. And anyone else who wants to. Coming up. Uh, where is my... There you are. Yeah, I don't think I see a lot. Jesus. Uh, you guys definitely start to head in the direction that you would probably go if you were heading to the Medusa. But at some point... You notice that it doesn't have the stone tablet in his mouth anymore. What? <laughs> Where? I'm gonna start looking for it. Like I'm gonna try to stop the the little beast and be let, and check if the animal ate it or something. Uh, make an animal handling, I suppose. Yeah, those are always good for me. Uh, let's see. Nowhere kind of grunts. He's like, God damn it. He's like, does this maze just want us to stay here forever? Uh, from what you can tell, uh, its mouth is definitely too small to have eaten the thing, and... Its piercing teeth would not be exceptionally good at breaking up rock into the small enough chunks to eat it. Uh, mm. But you kind of catch up to it and stop it, and it kind of just sits and looks at you. I'm gonna be talking. What did you do with it? Where is it? Where did you put it? Hey, I might have to leave the game because my aunt's dogs are barking really bad and um, I don't want her landlord to get mad um, when she's in the hospital. Okay, yeah. do whatever you have to do. Yeah. Thanks a lot, you guys. It's been fun playing with you tonight. Sorry. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, it kind of just like growls in response to your your excited talking and scolding of it. 
It doesn't seem to understand what you're saying. Okay, if it starts growling, I'm going to take a step back. Uh, did we notice if that happened in this room or, or any of the previous ones? Um, it's going to be an investigation check to try to backtrack and find it. Okay, let's see if that one is good. And Siga can roll too if he is here. Got a nice bonus. Let's hope it's enough. Yes! Um... You start backtracking your way through all of the rooms of the Almory. Uh, like looking around corners, under things. Uh, eventually, you get back to just before the Tesseract kind of room with the sand pit and the golden chains. And you see the stone tablet sinking into the sand and disappearing crap uh do i have something i got nothing that can help me uh oh there was a creature in the sand right yes I'm gonna call out to it, like, hey, uh, weird thing, sir, uh, hello? Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I'm also going to start, like, poking this end with the Spear of Gentle Repose that I have. See if I can fish out the tablet without touching the sand myself. Okay. Uh, so, out of the sand comes uh, this strange... It kind of looks like it's made of, like different shades of colored glass and strands like it's been just like strands of glass constantly twisting and turning uh, and it kind of pops up and struggles against its golden chains and he speaks in a deep booming voice and uh says what do you want oh hi i thought you weren't here uh question uh there was like a stone tablet that somebody seems to have thrown in here i'm trying to get it back so you want something of me well i can touch the sand or i will possibly most certainly die so if you can get that stone tablet and like toss it this way i would really 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 appreciate that break my chains um set me free and you can have what you want damn it uh Can you make like a quick sales pitch about that being a good thing for me? Because we try to let one guy go and then we found out that he was like super evil. And I don't really know you a lot. And I got an old hand because of your sand. 
It seems you have more to ask of me, but I have no reason to tell you anything. I am in control here. Okay, maybe you can be a little bit less of a dick about it. I'm going to keep trying to shovel my way with the with the spear. Um what what kind of check do you want to make for that? Maybe it's probably Maybe dexterity. dexterity. So you can just like yeah. sleight of hand, I guess. As close as we're gonna have. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it! Yeah, it, as you can imagine, it's it's pretty hard to because you can't really see what's going on under there, and it feels like you're hitting something, but it it's like turning. And getting out from under you, and you're being very, you have to be very careful to try not to touch the sand itself. Okay, I'm gonna try something crazy. Uh, is there like an archway, a door in this place with the sand? Uh, sure. How far is the monster thing from the doorway? Um, Maybe just like twenty feet. There's a, like a glass. It's it's in like a glass uh, kind of like pool. That that the sand is is in. Okay. Uh, okay. So you say you have a lot to gain if you don't help me. So. Here's my counter offer. And um, I'm going to cast Produce Flame. But I'm going to try to keep it in the hand for a bit. I thought that was going to put the text, not the actual attack. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, I'm going to try to keep it in my hand and say, like, the way I see it, you cannot break your chain, and I can hit you with this from here. Until you do what I tell you or you die. So I guess that's really up to you. Or I can trap you in here forever. Kind of hard to do when you cannot leave this place, isn't it? Uh, nowhere is going to make a wisdom saving throw. Damn it. And you just hear one small muffled scream before silence. And you turn, and he's kind of just like leaning on one leg awkwardly, but stuck in midair. Can I try to grab him and pull him away? Uh, he's not in a position to stand, so kind of as soon as you touch him, he starts, like, falling over. And is kind of just frozen. Uh, unable to move. Paralyzed. Okay, what the hell did you do? Should I freeze more of your friends? Well, maybe you should try to deal with me since I'm the one threatening you, not them. I'm gonna you drag him away. Uh, I'm gonna drag uh, nowhere a little bit away. And I'm gonna come back to the monster. Okay, I'm doing this for my own self-satisfaction and this time I'm gonna chuck the flame at him. Oh, crap. Uh, the flame hits him, but it kind of just, like, hits his glass form and dissipates. Doesn't seem to have an effect. Very well. I just wanted to do that. Uh... He laughs. 
Okay. Okay. Think, think, think. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna use my last spell and try to help nowhere with uh, dispel magic at third level. Uh, so you go back into the other room. Make yeah. a perception roll. Uh, let's see. Perception? Yes, please. Ah, uh, that's an eye. Uh, sure. You you hear uh a different voice around the corner from you. Uh, saying. Zuthera, Zuthera, what happened? I'm going to come closer to it and try to sneak up and see who that is. Uh, if you kind of remember, nearby here, there were four oddly positioned but stacked bodies. Uh, now there's three of them, and the fourth one is standing over the other three. Trying to snap them awake, but they seem to be entirely frozen. Uh, hey, you there. I'm gonna come closer to it. Who are you? How did... How did you get here? Uh, basically, long story short, walking a lot. Uh, question. Do you know anything about the monster in the glass thing back there? What? Uh, it, there's a monster in, in glass? Uh, something like that. Um... Okay, uh, did you see anyone come through here a little bit ago? Last thing I remember, I was going to... Uh, ne never mind. Alright, I don't have a lot of time because there's someone threatening my life. So, can you tell me what's going on or do I have to start being uh, a little bit mean? Can you wake up my friends? I have no idea how to do that. Uh, make a persuasion roll? Or intimidation? Let's see. Ooh, I think I get a bonus because I'm a half orc. Yeah, I got a bonus on Intimidation. Can I try that one? Sure. Yes! Uh, Alright, man. Listen, we were... We are going to turn in the, the time elemental to the Medusa for the bounty. And then, all of a sudden, I, 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 just, I just woke up here. I don't know what happened. Okay, how long ago was that? Because I think somebody stole something and put it there with that kind of weird thing. I I just I was I was there and then now I'm here. Uh, how am I supposed to know how long it's been? Okay, that's fair. Uh Okay. Uh Let's see, let's see. But we had him in chains, we chained him up. We were so close. If that thing were released, let's say, that would be a bad thing, right? I mean, what do you mean? It's, it's the same thing? 
It's in there? Well, I think so, because I touched something nearby it, and I got this hand that I'm going to put up, like, my old hand. Well, then, then we can get the bounty together, you and me. Yeah. Think of it. So much gold. That's... 10,000 gold. I don't think that's a good idea. Impressive, but I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, you may not know it, but you're in the place of the Medusa. And technically speaking, it already got the time elemental. So I don't think there's going to be like a lot of reward. She wants to turn it to stone. Then I mean, she can walk the way over here and do that, but... Uh, I don't know, this place is weird, man. It's... Uh, I don't even know what to think anymore. So, tell me. Anything that that thing is afraid of? Uh, is probably afraid of being turned to stone and given to the Medusa. Okay, and uh, did you ever see it turn somebody into like a statue or freeze someone? Is that what happened to my friends? Possibly. I mean, I got a friend over here that got the same thing. By the way, now that I remember... Uh, can I cast Dispel Magic to see if it does anything on him? Uh, yes, you can. It's my last third level. And nowhere kind of snaps awake surprised at where he is because he was in the other room. And, uh, oh. ask what happened. Um, well, I was threatening the monster back there, and you kind of got frozen in place for a bit. And then I made you better for a bit. Maybe next time that I go over there, um, I go alone just in case. This place sucks. Yeah, I know. We're almost out, don't worry. Okay, so, uh, stay here. Give me just... the, the other guy says, okay, well, you, so you can help my friends. Uh, let's say that I ran out of juice. Because I cannot do that anymore for today or a couple of days. Sorry. You know, priorities. Well, well, how did I get free? Did you save me? I did not do anything, really. You started talking and I came here. So... I just woke up just a minute before you, you popped around the corner. Oh! You know what? Maybe when it froze nowhere, it unfroze you. So there were four of you? Yes. Huh. So you can do it to four people at the same time. <laughs> okay, okay. I got an idea. Okay. Question. When you were trying to trap that thing uh did you guys hit it with something did it did you hurt it somehow uh we just managed to put it into the special chains and we were starting to drag it towards the medusa's area okay okay uh I'm going to need a minute. I'll be right back. 
and I'm going to ask the others to stay here and go back to the to the monster and cast resistance on myself just in case. Okay. And I'm going to come like, hey, did you miss me, boy? Have you come to free me now? Yeah, not happening. I kind of know what your game is now. So, tell you what. I'm not going to free you. But maybe, just maybe, because I think that's a productive negotiation, let's say. Maybe you tell me if you saw someone throw a tablet here or get me the tablet and I don't bring the Medusa all the way over here and tell her that you are stealing the letters from her only friend. And maybe she won't turn you into stone or worse. He's going to try to freeze you, so make a wisdom saving throw. With an Coming extra up. I'm gonna roll that D4 just in case. Damn it! Well, that's a total of 14. Um. Uh, I think you're frozen. Damn it. Uh, well, so Siga and Nowhere will probably check in on you, and he will make the same threats, but, uh, they know what's up, so they will probably, like, start to grab at his chains to make like they're going to start moving them and then they might get frozen or maybe not and then the other people would wake up and they would come in and between all of you uh, eventually at some point you would be released uh, and you would drag him and, uh, like, he comes out of the sand, and we could say he has, like, the, uh, stone tablet, like, swirling around inside of him. Uh, and all of you, be like the seven of you, all together, could kind of drag the frozen people along with the chains, and make your way towards the Medusa. slowly with extra caution to try to avoid anything in the maze uh, yeah I'm gonna be spreading resistance every once in a while to anyone yeah everybody kind of takes turns being conscious as he uh, desperately tries to freeze people to stop you guys but there's just too many Uh, probably make it to the cultists and the sphinx and uh, they probably know better than to mess with whatever the hell that thing is yeah so I'm gonna of... be like excuse me coming through pardon me sorry drag it through talk to your little bird friend in the cage And, uh, place him in front of the Medusa. Uh, what did you bring me? Hi again. Uh, so, I talked to Cronia, and she didn't mention your name, but she did say that 
the person she was writing to stopped writing her. So oh, that's not me. There. Yeah. So she there. I think me. there was. I think there was a problem like in the middle of the way. So here is the thing. Coming by, we spied on Cronius' pet, who was bringing you a tablet, and then the tablet disappeared. And it's inside of this thing. And I'm going to point to the time elemental. Now, it said that it wanted to be free. I made a wrong She starts thread. walking up to it with her mirror. Uh, and she yeah, uses maybe it. you want to stay away because it freezes people. And she just plunges her hand right into the center of the thing while it's spinning. And rips out the tablet. Or you can also do that, I guess. Uh, she kind of like looks at it for a minute. Uh, not long enough to read all the text that you can kind of faintly see on it. Uh, but then she says... Release the chains and look away. And the three of you that are conscious do. And she like checks around with her mirror. And all of a sudden there's a loud clank as this thing falls to the floor. Some bits of stone that were on the bottom of it kind of shatter as it w was pretty thin. Uh, as like a magical creature, it didn't really have to be hearty and thick enough to survive falling to the floor because it could float. Um, <laughs> so some of it shatters. And uh, she shouts to her servants to prepare some gold. And everyone who was frozen is now unfrozen. Also, I think Corona is going to have a little bit of a hard time writing to you because I gave her a magic dagger to use. And it turned to shit, really. So maybe give her a little bit of time to write you again. I have plenty of time. I'm not going anywhere. So, I don't think anybody else is going to mess with your writing to her. So, that was the promise, right? Take the gold is gonna keep and leave. Looking at... But, well, um, I'm not going to say no to that. Uh... Have a nice whatever it is right now, day, <laughs> night, whatever. Bye. And I'm going to pick up the gold and leave as soon as possible. Yeah, several large, large sacks of gold are kind of distributed amongst the seven people that are there. And uh, the four of them and the three of you split ways. Very well. So, unless you guys have something else uh, that you want to do, I'm going to take my leave. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know about Siga. Because he, I see how to go. But uh, I'm sure Nowhere is eager to leave. Uh, so, do you have a preference on which way you head? Yeah, I think make it to the to the island that was 
Next to Cronia somewhere. Yeah. This map is confusing. I don't see it on the map. Crap. Uh, if you know where like the the juice is next to Cronia, it's like right of there and then up. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, found it. We go to the pedestal, then to the right, which is a dark room, and then there is a passageway to the island. Going that way. And when I pass by with Crony, I'm going to actually tell her what we were doing. Oh, yeah, you're going to explain what happened? Yeah, I'm going to tell her, like, okay, so we did meet the Medusa. She asked, why didn't you write to her? And turns out that there was a monster eating your letters. But that's fixed, so you can talk again. Uh, her, her friend is, her little monster is next to her too. And it kind of like cocks his head. Uh, and she says, how did you know that letter was going to the Medusa? Uh, we talked to her and she said that you didn't write her anymore, so... I just assumed that it was the same person. Well, I asked this guy if the, the letters made it, and he always seems excited. Yeah, I... To me, it seems that it didn't notice the letters were gone, because he kept walking. She kind of like angrily turns to the monster and you can feel like more of the time radiation like leaking off of her. Uh, hey, hey, Kronia, it's okay. Don't worry. It's... What have you done? Hey, don't get angry at the little guy. It's, it's fine. It's what you expect them to do. They don't really know what is going on around them. You want me to be lonely, don't you? Kind of personal, but I don't think that's the case. So that you can keep feeding off of me. Um, crown yet, buddy. And she kind of like puts her hand on the monster, and it screams and shrivels up. And falls to the ground. Uh, Cronia, I don't want to tell you how to live your life, but then I don't. think that was exaggerate. Okay, okay. Sorry. Uh, good news is you can keep writing to her. Uh, again, if I find a way to help you with the time thing, maybe I'll come back to the maze. Good luck. Well, see you later, maybe. Bye. I'm gonna awkwardly make my way out of the room. All right, it's not too well, far from there to walk through the darkness and up into the staircase. Uh, you are treated fairly well up there, although they seem to fear you, they do have a lot of respect for you. And 
every once in a while uh, a boat from elsewhere comes in and surprised that there are people who aren't as crazy as the islanders on the maze uh, they are willing to give you passage back to the mainland And after that, I'm going to try to find the guy that put me in the painting. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to probably the end of this campaign for now. Thank God I didn't want to fight <laughs> the Medusa. <laughs> She's very creepy. Doing a good job on Creepy. Alright, well, uh, thanks for playing, man. And we'll try to figure out what's going on in the future. Not a problem, Caleb. You made it very, very fun to Thank play. You. I appreciate it. Especially because this was my first campaign and I was super nervous at the beginning. I think you mentioned so, you're were, you were playing in others too, no? Yeah, now I'm playing Tomb of Annihilation, I think it's the name. Yes. I don't know if the name changes. Oh, cool. Yeah. But it was a very fun campaign. Super confusing map, but a very good campaign. Yeah, I'll, I'll post some links to it so you can kind of get an idea of what was going on yeah also i got the the pdf like i said last time and i'm gonna try to run it with some people i know <laughs> good luck yeah Make i'm gonna sure go to crazy it probably several times because it's hard to keep track of all that stuff <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have i'm gonna have to play it with myself for a while and then i can play it with other people but yeah, it was a very interesting game. All right, well, talk to you next time, maybe. Very well, Kevin. <laughs> See you. Have fun. Bye. I'm going to go to bed. Good night.